Hi everyone. Good morning. For this video, we are going to discuss about RPA deployment. How the deployment of RPA will be done? What are the process are involved? When we talk about deployment, there is three stages. Dev, SIT, UAT, production. Once Dev environment has been deployed, Then system integration testing or SAT will happen. Once UAT, once SAT completed, user acceptance test or UAT will be done. Usually, when we talk about UAT, user acceptance test, it will be happening client side missing, which means if you are working for a client ABC, your dev environment is in your local, maybe, or VDA machine or Citrix machine, whatever it is. Your SIT environment may be or may not be in your VDA. Or else, client environment. Next one is UAT user acceptance test. Usually, when we move code or the code from SIT to, if all the testings are completed, then SIT to UAT. Mostly it would be the client provided secure environment. Once UAT is completed, then we have to go for production deployment. In this production deployment, suppose you are Robo or bot has to be completed one lakh record. One lakh record of bank customer details update. So before moving to one lakh record, or before moving to production there is one option is the mini go live which means if we moving in before moving to one lakh record I want to test hundred records in many go live production environment if if it is passed the all the records are passed through properly then I will go with production this is the common thing in RP environment as of what we are doing here <coughs> So when we talk about deployment, the first thing is bot. Bot is very important for deployment, which means bot ID. So bot 
ID has all the access of Parted has all the access of each and every application that is very important the second thing is environment readiness So what are the components would be the available in environment readiness? See when we talk about environment readiness, the first thing is your production your development environment same as your production or else your UAT environment your UAT environment same as product environment that is first and initial thing for environment readiness. The second thing is resolution setting. When we talk about resolution, your EAT or development environment, what you developed with the resolution, system resolution. Has to be same as broad. Suppose your resolution is 720 and 670 the same must be in production environment so these are all coming under the environment readiness when we talk about environment readiness next level source control readiness source control readiness is all about how your files which means your task file config files your input files your output files log files how these files are updated with source control suppose you are using your source control is SVN suppose you are using SVN or BSS or TFS or JTAB so whatever may be your source control structure must be 
same as your environment structure. Suppose your source control has my stars, my dogs, my scripts. So in your source control as my task all they were files which was the task file in my docs all they were input and output files script if you are using any input output script so that is the thing which will be available in your source control then only the control room has to be downloaded in the same structure this is one of the main environment ideas. See again we are talking about deployment. So development team will given access only to their associated project development folder in development environment development control room system manager assigned integrators and admin will have control and EAT and production control room along with access to dev control room to promote releases See, when we talk about releases in deployment, suppose I am doing release 1.0 in VAT. So inside the release 1.0, all my files, task, docs, every files will be available. Yeah, project and version will be controlled on development control room through your SVN or ESS or TFS, whatever it may be. VAT and stage control room folder task will be available for VAT and VAT team will be connected access to deploy and run. Yes. Deploy and run and schedule. These are second level of run and schedule these are the second level of deployment the first thing is production readiness or environment readiness is all con coming under deployment and running and scheduling part is the second part of deployment so we can when we talk about staging servers will be more important suppose you are staging server which means your IES is you have you have two control room servers but it is mapping in same physical server so in that case the staging server is very important and the most probably it will be useful in deployment so how it will staging server will go and how that deployment will be happen before the uh, environment readiness, we will see more details in our next video. Thanks, sir. Thanks for watching this video.